Welcome to Inside Science TV. Depending on the type of party, you may have seen this trick before. Hitting a glass bottle filled with water causes the bottom to shatter. But what makes it break? Previous uh, assumptions were there was a pressure wave coming down that would break the bottle. Mechanical engineers Jesse Daly and Tad Truscott at Brigham Young University wanted to figure it out. We're like, oh, no, that's not what happens. We started arguing about it. We we're like, okay, let's settle this. So we pulled out one of our high-speed cameras. It was the high-speed video that revealed the secret behind the bottle breaking. It's bubbles. They collapse really, really fast. And when they collapse, they actually have a very violent, it's a very violent uh, uh, event. And it's actually the collapse of those bubbles is what actually just finally causes the bottle to fail and break completely. The impact from the mallet causes the bottle to accelerate downwards, suddenly lowering the pressure inside the bottle. This causes some of the water at the bottom to turn into a gas, creating bubbles in a process called cavitation. But the bubbles cannot escape, so they collapse inward, generating enough pressure to break a bottle. What's really quite cool, though, is that they form in about a thousandth of a second, but they collapse about ten times faster than that. An accelerometer, a device that measures changes in speed, was used to confirm the bottle breaks after the bubbles collapse and not from the initial impact. Bursting the bubble of mystery with a little science fun. I'm Josh Lebowitz reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.